Today in Myanmar, the Southeast Asian country also known as Burma, opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi warned that this weekend's election would not be free and fair and said problems, including intimidation, had been found. While we recognize that even in well-established democracies, there are irregularities and misdemeanors uh, when elections take place, what have been happening in this country are really beyond what is acceptable for a democratic election. Still, we are determined to go forward because we think that this is what our people want. Sound from Telegraph TV. Suu Kyi, who spent most of the past two decades under house arrest, is running for one of the 45 seats open in the country's parliament. But concerns persist about human rights, continuing detention of political prisoners, and a crackdown on the country's ethnic groups. For more, we're joined by Ang Zhao, editor with Irrawaddy Magazine. He joins us from northern Thailand, and he just returned from Burma ahead of Sunday's vote. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. The election this weekend is coming after some signs of reforms, but there are still concerns about political restrictions in Burma. What are you hearing from the Burmese community about this Sunday's election? Is there a sense of hope, of optimism, or, or is there some skepticism? I think uh, the, I think the feelings uh, make uh, both uh, optimism and uh, skeptical Burmese inside the country. And uh, because there are a lot of uh, reports about uh, irregularities and uh, trans voting and the uh, possibility of uh, vote rigging and uh, uh, trying to fix the outcome of this by election. So I think, uh, I think there has been a mixed feeling. As we heard, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi has noted that this election, noted irregularities and said that the election um, is not going to be fair. What about the issue of access to polls? One campaign director for the National League for Democracy told your uh, magazine, Irrawaddy, that uh, one eastern Rangoon district, there were almost 500 voters that had yet to be added to the list. There were some other irregularities. Is this a concern uh, for the uh, ahead of the voting? There are, I think, a very deep uh, concern about the in, in, in the irregularities and uh, and uh, also reports of uh, dead people on the voting list and uh, those underage people and those are eligible to vote uh, are not actually on the list so there are a lot of uh, uh, cases that uh, need to be I think uh, follow up. And Ang Zhao, a final question. Uh, the practical effect of this election, there are only 45 seats in the parliament up for uh, for a vote. So even if the NLD did win many of those seats, the, the power in parliament would still be largely in the hands of, of the military and the government. That's right. That's right. That, that's, uh, that, that, that makes a lot of people very, very skeptical. You know? uh, it's very small, very small. Uh, so I think this, it is a win-win situation for government. Long to well, a win-win situation for the government, as you say, as long as opposition leader Suu Kyi is there, perhaps. Uh, perhaps also a moment of hope for others. Ang Zhao is the editor with Irrawaddy Magazine. He joined us from northern Thailand to discuss the upcoming elections this weekend in Burma. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much.